Assalamu alaikum dear students, how are you? Hope you all are fine by the grace of almighty Allah. I am also fine. Welcome to NIPS Home School. This is Kamul Nahar, Assistant Teacher of English, National Ideal English Version School, Deshya. My dear students of class 6, today I am going to take your English second paper class and our today's topic is right form of verbs. That means today we will uh, discuss about the, I mean, the rules of the right form of verbs. So let's start our class today. So dear students, now look, today we will discuss so, uh, I mean few rules uh, of the use of the right form of verbs and this is part one. Uh, so in our next class we have discussed uh, more rules. Now look at the first rule, number one, if the subject is in the third person singular number, S or ES is added to the verb. So if our subject is in the third person singular number, we will add S or ES uh, to the main verb. Now look at this example, the boy go to school every day, in bracket there is the main verb, boy. I mean go and our subject is the boy. Now look at the subject, the uh, subject, uh, I mean our subject, the boy is third person singular number. So we will add yes to the verb. Now look, the boy goes to school every day. So this is our answer. If the subject is uh, is in the third person singular number, we will add S or ES to the main verb. Now look, our <coughs> second example, Rihan always carry an umbrella with him. Now look, Rihan always carry an umbrella with him. And uh, now look, here our subject is Rihan. This is also third person singular number and our main verb is carry and we know that if the main verb I mean ends with y we will drop y and we will add is to that verb. So our answer will be Rihan always carries that means C A W R I E S. We drop Y and we add I E S. If you want to add E S or S to the I mean uh, E S to the verb which ends with Y, we will drop Y and we will add I E S. Ian always carries an umbrella with him. Now we will go to our next rule. Our second rule is present indefinite tense is used in sentences implying universal truth or habitual fact. So if there's any habitual fact or if there's any uh, I mean uh, I mean universal truth I mean if the sentence, uh, sentence express universal truth or if present indefinite I mean uh, we will use present indefinite tense in the sentence. That means if the subject is in the third person singular number, we will add S or ES to the verb and if the subject is in the plural form, we will not add S or ES. That means there will be the base form of the verb. Now look at this example, the sun rise in the east. This is the universal truth, sun always rise in the east, it will not rise in the west. So this is universal truth or if there is an habitual fact like uh, uh, I or uh, she drinks, uh, uh, I mean uh, tea every day just like this uh, or she drinks milk every day so that will be present in definite tense okay let's do it the sun this is third person singular number just like the first one and this is universal too that's why it will be present in tense and we know that in present in definite tense we add s or es to the main verb according to the subject i mean if the subject is third person singular number the sun so it will be rises, rises in the east. So this is our answer. We add is to that verb. Now we will go to our third rule. 
sentence with the adverbs. Now, adverbs like always, regularly, often, sometimes, generally, daily, occasionally, usually, normally are filmed in the present indefinite tense. So, just like the I mean, uh, now look at the first rule, there is Rihan always. So, just like this, we will <coughs> make it present indefinite. That means there will be the, uh, I mean, uh, what will what be the form of the verb? Present indefinite tense. So, a good boy prepare his lessons regularly. So, in our bracket, we have found the verb prepare. Now, we will change it. A good boy. Now, look at the subject. A good boy, it is third person singular number. So, we will add S because uh, our verb ends with E. So, we will add S. A, a good boy prepares. His lessons regularly. So if you find, if you have found our, or if you find always regularly, often, sometimes, generally, daily, occasionally, usually, normally, uh, in a sentence, I mean. Uh, if you find those adverbs in the sentence, it will be present in definite tense. Now we will uh, go to our next example. Now look where Mr. Karim in bracket take his food normally. Now there is the interrogative sentence. We have to make it interrogative and it is very simple. We know how to make it interrogative. Now look, uh, at first we will write our WH question when With. And now look at the subject Mr. Kareem. Mr. Kareem is also third person singular number. So we will add S to that verb that means takes. If uh, it is, I mean, uh, as a sentence, it will be Mr. Kareem takes his food normally. Now we need to make it interrogative sentence. So Mr. Kareem takes his food normally. So there is no auxiliary verb or helping verb. So we need to use do, did, or does to make it interrogative, and we add verb to the to the. I mean, uh, we add sorry s to that verb now uh, because our subject is third person singular number, and we have uh, we have found the word normally, and we know that if the word I mean if we find adverbs like normally, it will be present in definite tense. So we will use here does to make it interrogative. When does now we will write the subject. When does Mr. Karim? And we will not give here dot. We will write Mr. Mr. We will not give here. Uh, I mean, uh, full stop. We will not put here full stop. And this is the modern form. Or uh, you can also put here full stop. Uh, it will also correct. But this is the old form. When does Mr. Karim? Now we will write the main form of the verb because we have written here thus. When does Mr. Koi take his food? Now the rest of the sentence, I mean uh, after take, we will write the rest of the sentence normally. And you must give the interrogative sign. I mean the, the question sign. Now look. When does Mr. Karim take his food normally? Now we will go to our next rule. Now look, to make sentences that is without the be verb, negative or interrogative, do, does or did is used as the tense and subject recurrent, just like the previous one. So if there's no auxiliary verb, that means uh, if there's no be verb or to be verb, if you want to make the sentence negative or interrogative, you need to uh, add do does or did that means an i mean uh, an extra do or does or did to make your sentence uh, i mean a negative or interrogative okay now look at the example the girl not sing a song so now look we need to make it negative sentence because there is the not and after uh, i mean at the end of the sentence you i uh, mean you uh, we have found full stop that means this is uh, an statement or as a sentence but uh, it will be negative form so at first we will write here our subject the girl the girl now we will make it negative now look our tense is in the 
we can uh, I mean uh, change it uh, to the present indefinite tense. So, the girl according to the subject <coughs> it, sorry it is third person singular number. So, it will be does the girl does not now we will write here not the girl does not and we know that after do these or third I mean does there will be the present form of the verb. So, the girl does not sing a song. The sing is the base form of the verb sing so it will not change. The girl does not sing a song. We need to add does to make it negative. Now we will go to our next example. He come home yesterday. And now look we know that if we find the word like yesterday it is past indefinite tense. So, now uh, we need to make it interjection because now uh, at the end of the sentence we have found a question mark. So, we will make it interrogative and there is no to be verb. So, what will we do? And we know that in present tense we will use do or does according to the subject and in the past tense we will use did. So, we will write did at first. Uh, sorry, it will be did. No. The idea did and now our subject is he. Now we will write the subject he did he and then there will be the main verb and now look our <coughs> main verb is come and we know that after do does and did we will write the uh, main verb I mean base form of the verb of the present form of the verb. So it will be come did he come now the rest of the sentence home yesterday so this is our answer did he come home yesterday now we will go to our next row so in wh question the subject is preceded by to be verb or do does did as required by the tense and person just like the previous one now look uh, you need to change uh, change it or you need to use to be verb or do this uh, uh, do uh, did or does according to the tense. So now look at the first example. What you do now? And we know the uh, um, and we know uh, that uh, if we find the word like now or at the moment, it will be present continuous tense. So we will make it present continuous tense. I mean the sentence will be in the present continuous uh, tense uh, form. I mean. Uh, so, uh, what will we write here? At first, we will write the WH question. So, in WH question, we need to write the WH word at first. Now, look, the word which we use to make WH question, we will write that word. What? Now, we will write the auxiliary verb or do this just according to the tense. Now, look, we have found the word now. So, it will be present continuous tense. And in present continuous tense, what is uh, our subject? We use M is R according to our subject. So there will be R. So what R? Now look, WH question the subject is preceded by to be verb or do does did as required by the tense and person. Now look, this is our to be verb. Now we will write the subject. What R? Our subject is you. What are you? And you know that uh, in present continuous tense, we need to add ing with the main verb. So, it will be doing. What are you doing now? So, this is question. So, we will give a question mark. Now, we will go to our next sentence. Why she look so angry? In bracket, there is a verb look. And now look, uh, we can also make it pre uh, I mean present indefinite tense and we can also make it past indefinite tense. So, we will go with present indefinite tense. Now, look, if the sentence is like, I mean, if it is assertive sentence, it will be, she looks so angry. So, now we uh, will make it interrogative. So, at first we will write the WH question. Why? Now look, uh, there is no to be verb or auxiliary verb. So, we will use do, does or did. And according to our tense, it will be does. So, we will write here does. Why does? Now, there will be the subject she why does she and we know that after do does or did we use the base form of the verb or the present form of the verb so oh, i mean main verb so it will be look why does she look 
and now the rest of the sentence we will not add here is or is because there is the verb does so why does she look so angry so uh, this rule is done now we will go to our next rule sentences with verbs implying continuity of action are framed in the present continuous tense so sentences with verbs implying continuity so if there is any uh, continuity of action it will be present continuous tense now uh, I have told you if you uh, find the word like now or at this moment it will be present continuous tense now look at this example they watch this is the verb we need to use the correct form of the verb or right, for, uh, uh, right form of the verb tv at this moment so at this moment it will be present continuous tense and what is the word subject or subject is they so at first we will write the subject they and you know that in present continuous tense we will write and is our according to our subject and now look there is the verb they and this is the plural form i'm sorry i mean this is the plural uh, uh, i mean uh, plural form of our noun so it will uh, they uh, uh, and uh, you know that if uh, our subject is plural we will use here are so they are and then according to the structure of the present continuous tense there will be ing with the main verb so they are watching they are watching tv now the rest of the sentence after watching we will write the rest of the sentence at this moment now number seven have or has or had is followed by the past participle form of the verb so we all know about it uh, i mean uh, if you find the word like have or has or had in the sentence uh, after that uh, word i mean have has or had we will write the past participle form of the verb now look at this example we have make him captain so we will use the correct form of the verb make so at first we will write we have we have and what is our verb make and there is the verb have so we have to write here the past participle form of the verb and you know that made is the past participle form of the verb make so we will write here make we have made now the rest of the sentence in captain okay now we will go to our next rule rule number eight now look sentences with adverbs just or just now or already yet ever lately recently are usually framed in the present perfect tense now look i have uh, i repeat just just now already yet ever lately recently are usually framed in the present perfect tense so if you have found those words in a sentence the sentence will be uh, present perfect tense now look at this example I see him recently. So there is the word recently. That means the sent. I uh, mean, uh, we will uh, write the. Uh, I mean, present par uh, perfect tense. That uh, sentence will be in the present perfect tense. So our subject is I, and we know that in present perfect tense, uh, after I, we will write here have. I have now the. Uh, now look at the rule number seven. We know that after have there will be the present. I mean, so, uh, sorry, past participle form of the verb. So after have, we will write here the past participle form of the verb. See, that means seen. I have seen. Now the rest of the sentence. Him recently. Now, <coughs> next example. He just finished his work. Now look at the word just. So it is also in the present perfect tense. Now we will write our subject at first. He so after he we will write have or has in the present perfect tense so our subject is third person singular number so we'll write here has he has now we will write just he has just now we will write the past participle form of the verb finish so it will be finished so if you have find like just to just now it will uh, you will write in the middle of the uh, verb has or the main verb i mean the past participle form of the verb he has just finished his work now we will go to rule number nine this is our uh, last rule for today now look sentence with phrases indicating past like yesterday ago 
long since or long ago or last night or last week are frame in the past indefinite tense. So, if you have uh, uh, found the words like yesterday, ago, long since or last night, we will change it to, uh, I mean uh, the sentence will be in the past indefinite tense. Now look, Sumi leave home last night. So, there is the word last night. So, it will be past indefinite tense. So, at first we will write our subject Sumi and now we will write the past form of the verb live and we know that the past form of the verb live is lived. Sumi lived. Now, the rest of the sentence home last night. Now, we will go to next example. I met you long ago. Now, look at the word here long ago. So, it is also in the past indefinite tense and I will uh, I is our subject and then we will write the past form of the verb meet. So, it will be met m e t I met now the rest of the sentence you long ago. So, we have discussed nine rules today and dear students there is a homework for you this is homework number 10 fill in the gaps with the right form of the verbs given in the bracket put them in the correct tense use the negative word necessary so you will just fill up those uh, i mean uh, gaps you will fill in the gaps with the right form of the verbs which are given in the brackets and you can uh, i mean uh, <coughs> make it negative word necessary now look number one eat now eat then blank and in the bracket there is the verb brain during the rainy season so eat then blank rain during the rainy season number two the boy then blank play football the boy then blank play football now number three my mother always now look there's the blank then help the poor sorry my father my father always then blank help the poor now number four uh, now number four now look he blank not earn much so you need to make this sentence negative remember this one he blank not earn much now number five where are you blank leave now so there is a question mark so you need to make it interrogative sentence so where are you blank leave now now number six she blank teach english at this moment she blank teach english at this moment now number seven i have then blank finish my homework number seven i have blank finish my homework now number eight they already blank see it they already blank see it now number nine my father blank get a new job a week ago my sorry my brother my brother now blank get a new job a week ago my brother blank get a new job a week ago now number 10 he blank borrow my book yesterday number 10 he blank borrow my book yesterday so this is you can take a screenshot and you can do your homework and all of you can uh, take the help of your book to go through these rules or you can uh, watch this video uh, again and again and if still I uh, mean if you have any problem you can contact me and you can ask me questions in your live class also so dear students that's all for today I hope you have understood about today's topic all of you will study regularly and do your homework so see you again 